try to go in order. So, you know, I have the most activity, activity I've ever had in years in November. And then it, by the end of November, it just turned off like a light bulb. Now, I didn't know if they were here and they just quit interacting because of the situation with there's dry leaves on the ground everywhere and it made it harder for them to get closer. Uh, there's leaves off the trees, so um, it's harder to hide. Or just the simple fact that um, things were looking too much like a pattern. You know, they were doing the same thing five different times in a row, coming to me in the same spot over and over again which was all very, very shocking. Um, but like I said, it just turned off like a light bulb. <clears throat> now, I was afraid that maybe I messed up. I pushed too hard, um, that they were still here, and then that they just weren't interacting. I think now it's very possible they just left because uh, starting a few days ago from just out of nowhere for no reason. The dogs weren't even outside. I heard a very loud growl from behind the house. The same growl that I have heard three times before. The same growl I've got recorded from behind the house. That uh, went, went down there, I didn't see anything, nothing happened. Well, I went into the woods, I think it was the next day or the day after that. Uh, went out there that night and I went up on their hill looking around. I'll show you video from me looking around. Uh, I also show the view that they have of my house uh, this time of year, which they could see everything. But I walked around back there, I came back home, I'm sitting on the front deck, and uh, about an hour, hour and a half later is when I hear something hit the ground. Um, I wasn't ready, I was about to go to bed. I go inside, get some clothes on, I walk outside, and then I check the camera. And sure enough, it picked up uh, what sounds like breaking um, footsteps, like you can hear the bass in the boom, 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 and then the vocal. So to me, it seems like they were gone, and now they've come back, which is pretty, it's a relief. Uh, now, I don't know that for sure. For all I know, they, they're they still there, but they quit interacting because it, there was getting too much of a pattern going on, you know. But there's also something else that I found that kind of, um, it's a clue as to what might have been going on. Uh, I came across something because the next day I went out looking to see if I could find what they broke. Um, see if I could find any tracks or anything like that. And I came across something that might have been affecting whether they were here or not. So let me show you that. show you again there is a hunter on the adjacent property putting his vest on I don't know if that's added to the pressure over this time I don't know if they've there's been a stand out there for a couple of years. Um, I've never come across anybody ever hunting out there. But I guess there is now. I don't know if that's affecting things or not. But this is the day after. So the day after. So there was the growl. And then there was the breaking and stuff the next night. And then the next day, there's the hunter. Maybe it's not affecting anything, but it might not be helping. And my um, 
exclamation was more about the fact that I probably ruined this guy's hunt, not the fact that he's hunting on his own property. Um, got every right to do that, but we'll see what happens from here. I'm kind of midway down their hill. I consider that their area. That's where I had the limb pulls during the day. Y'all remember that video right near where I found half the squirrel. Um, I found the got a stump over there where I got the the rock that was left, the skinning stone. Uh, that's where I've been gifting. It's right over there. I've had rocks hit the trees on that side over there during the day. But one of the main aspects, one of the hardest parts of all this, I believe, is the fact that that is my house. Now I'm going to turn the light off. From back here on this hill, I mean, you can see that's my deck up there, top left. My driveway area. When I walk behind the house anywhere, there's lights on. The camera really doesn't do it justice, but I mean, they can sit back here and see everything that happens. When I come down either side of my property, you know, during the winter time, there is just zero chance that I'm going to sneak out here. Now, I have thought about, um, I am working on something else though, right now, running some ideas through the old head. But, you know, they can see everything sit back here on this hill and like just watch us live our life sometimes you know um, pretty much a fishbowl effect that in the woods you know I have wood line all the way around my house except for where my driveway runs up to the main road so I'm surrounded by trees so that's why they've been able to come and go at will over the years. I've tried sneaking out here a couple different times. And uh, one of those times they actually snuck up behind me and did a wood knock. Scared the crap out of me. They got within about, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 feet and did a wood knock right behind me. Um, had it on video. You can hear the do 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 of them running and then hitting the tree whack scared the crap out of me anyway kind of gives you an idea of what i'm dealing with and have been dealing with 